No one could dribble past him in 65 matches, and he was seen as one of the best defenders in the world. But Virgil van Dijk's giant lifestyle is far from what many fans thought. From his humble beginnings to initial career struggles, relationship scandals, luxury properties, and staggering net worth, we leave no stone unturned. This is Virgil van Dijk's lifestyle. Virgil van Dijk was born on the 8th of July 1991 in Breda, Netherlands to a Dutch father and Afro Surinamese mother. His mother Helen became the most important person in his life after his father abandoned him following a nasty divorce when Virgil was only 11. Alongside his brother and sister, the Van Dijk siblings got used to life without their father. For Virgil, he often played football on the streets and even in concrete cages. As a child, he joined the WDS-19 youth squad before switching to Willem Twe when he was 8. Even as a child, Van Dijk had to combine his early career with a part-time job where he served as a dishwasher. Unsure about his career due to unsuccessful trials at Willem Twe, Van Dijk tried changing positions from right back to center back. Despite having a crazy growth spurt of 7 inches as a 17 year old, the footballer still couldn't break into the first team at Willem Twe and was offered no contract, but everything changed when he made a bold move to Groningen. After leaving Willem Twe on a free transfer to Groningen at the age of 19, Van Dyke's struggles to find first team football continued. He finally made his debut in May 2011, but a few months later, he was hospitalized due to a life-threatening abdominal abscess from a ruptured appendix. He spent two weeks at the hospital and could not walk for 10 days. He was able to recover fully and started playing football again after several months. After a string of excellent performances, the transfer doors opened in the 2013 summer. Having rejected offers from Brighton and Krasnodar, hoping that Ajax would sign him, he ended up at Celtic. Van Dijk had a successful two-year spell at Celtic, where he won consecutive Scottish Premier League titles and the Scottish League Cup. He made 115 appearances for the club at the heart of the defense, but after they lost their UEFA Champions League qualifiers, he opted to leave for the English Premier League on deadline day. The defender joined Southampton on a five-year deal for £13 million. After a successful first season, he became the club captain, but it didn't take long for the Premier League big boys, Chelsea, Liverpool, and Manchester City to come looking for a defender who had aerial ability, strength, and leadership skills. Van Dyke would hand over a transfer request and join Liverpool in the January winter window of 2018 for 75 million pounds, and the rest, they say, is history. Over 200 appearances, a Premier League title, FA Cup and League Cup trophies, and a UEFA Champions League trophy, the Dutchman has contributed handsomely to making Liverpool a dominant force in football again. In the 2018 and 19 season, which was his best, he won the UEFA Player of the Year and narrowly missed out on the Ballon d'Or. After failing to represent the Dutch senior team, despite being called up in 2014, Van Dijk finally made his debut in October 2015 and since then has made over a century of appearances for the country and has been captain since 2018. But many of us are eager to know what's been going on for the Dutch ace outside of football. The center back is married to his longtime girlfriend, Reg Noitkaduk, and they have four children together. The pair first met when the footballer was 20 years old, and it's safe to say that they've been through thick and thin. Having been at his side right from his days at Willem Twe and given up her high paying job as a sales manager for a high profile fashion brand in order to move to the UK with her partner, Reich was faced with the disappointment of finding out that Van Dyke had cheated on her. When Reich was pregnant with her first child in 2014, the footballer allegedly offered Georgie Lyle, an adult entertainer, money for his sex. They linked up a couple hours after he had already celebrated Celtic's league title victory with Reich and they carried on with their affair until Georgie decided to end their secret affair after she gained admission to study nursing at a university, which was followed by her quitting the adult industry after having spent five years. Nevertheless, Van Dyke and his wife have put the past behind them as we often see them spending quality time together on exotic holidays. 
when not hitting the gym or recovering from practice sessions, you will mostly find Van Dyke stuck on a TV show, with his favorite being BBC's Football Daily podcast. Like most other ballers, he is also big on video games. The Dutchman is a fan of NBA basketball and has indicated interest in attending games in the US. That being said, he is very much a family man and wouldn't hesitate to spend free time with his loved ones. The Van Dykes live in a beautiful and luxurious villa in Liverpool. Not much is known about their home, but we do know that he initially rented Solskjaer's 3.4 acre elderly edge home after he moved to Anfield until he was evicted when Ole became permanent coach at Manchester United. He didn't take that lightly and decided to vandalize Ole's 4 million pound property, incurring over 200,000 pounds in damages. When it comes to cars, the big defender's taste is evident for all to see. He has a Land Rover Defender, which he received as a gift. The mid-sized SUV, worth $50,000, is renowned for its off-road capabilities and great handling. He also has an Audi Q7 that has a 2.0-liter turbocharged inline-four engine, which could generate 248 horsepower. The $60,000 vehicle has a top speed of 130 miles per hour. But there's more to the Dutchman's garage. He owns a Ferrari 488 Spider, which is arguably one of the higher performing V8 vehicles with incredible handling and advanced technology. The Ferrari has an unrivaled top speed of 205 million miles per hour and could accelerate from 0 to 60 in under 3 seconds. So it's no surprise that it is worth almost $300,000. Still, the Defender's favorite appears to be the Mercedes-Benz AMG G63. No doubt, the mid-size SUV is one of the most powerful luxury rides and is worth $150,000. Like many other footballers, Van Dyke has some ink on his body. Since he plays with long sleeves most times, it's a bit hard to notice, but a closer look at his left arm reveals a tattoo sleeve with some roses, a clock, and an eye. Any idea what the inspiration behind the tattoo was? Anyway, Van Dyke is the second highest paid player at Liverpool behind the one and only Mohamed Salah. The big defender earns £220,000 a week, which translates to around £11.5 million annually. In addition to his hefty wages, the defender has paid partnerships with luxury brands such as Calvin's, British GQ, and EA Sports FIFA, just to mention a few. With a large social media following of over 14 million followers, Virgil clearly puts his social media to good use in terms of sponsored posts. Putting it all together, we can estimate the 31-year-old's net worth to be around $38 million to $45 million. Despite having enough money to get any expensive toy he needs, the Defender is very much involved in charitable initiatives. He's an active presence in the Liverpool FC Foundation, the Cruyff Foundation, and the Dutch charity Kinderen Kankervrij, supporting children fighting cancer. He equally donated funds to local hospitals in his home country during the pandemic. Back in 2014, the Liverpool defender was called up to the national team, but it coincided with the expected birth of his first daughter. Not wanting to miss the first precious moments of his daughter's life, Van Dyke arranged for his girlfriend to give birth prematurely. Everyone criticized his move, including his manager, Hus Hiddink, who then didn't select him for any match. Apart from football-related controversies, the Dutch ace tries to stay out of trouble most times. Ever wondered why you find Virgil on the back of the Defender's shirt rather than his surname like most other players? Well, it's because he felt abandoned by his father who didn't reach out to him until he became a successful footballer. He has stated a few times that his father is not in his life. Only a few people also know that the Defender has Chinese ancestry from his mother's side. 